Vaginal cancer is a relatively rare form of cancer that develops in the vagina, which is the muscular tube that connects the uterus to the outside of the body. Like other cancers, vaginal cancer occurs when the cells in the vaginal lining grow uncontrollably, forming a tumor. If left untreated, these cancer cells can invade nearby tissues and spread to other parts of the body through the lymphatic system or bloodstream. Vaginal cancer is considered rare, accounting for only about 1-2% to of all gynecologic cancers. In the United States, it's estimated that around 1 in 1,100 women will develop vaginal cancer in their lifetime. The risk of developing vaginal cancer increases with age, with the majority of cases occurring in women over the age of 60. While it's a rare condition, its effects can be severe, and because it can often present without symptoms in the early stages, regular gynecologic exams are essential. Types of vaginal cancer There are several types of vaginal cancer, each classified based on the type of cell where the cancer originates. The main types include Number 1. Squamous cell carcinoma. This is the most common type of vaginal cancer, accounting for about 70% of vaginal cancers. It starts in the thin, flat cells that line the vagina. This type of cancer often affects older women and tends to grow slowly. Number 2. Adenocarcinoma. Adenocarcinoma begins in the glandular cells of the vagina, which are responsible for producing mucus and other fluids. It is more common in younger women, especially those who were exposed to diethylstilbestrol, which is a drug once prescribed to prevent miscarriage. Number 3. Melanoma. While melanoma is more commonly associated with skin cancer, it can also develop in the vagina. This type of cancer originates in the pigment-producing cells called melanocytes and typically occurs in the lower part of the vagina. Number 4. Sarcoma. Sarcoma develops in the connective tissues, such as muscle, fat, or blood vessels within the vaginal walls. It's an uncommon form of vaginal cancer and tends to be more aggressive than other types. Causes of vaginal cancer. Like many cancers, the exact cause of vaginal cancer isn't always clear. However, certain risk factors and conditions are strongly associated with its development. One of the leading risk factors for vaginal cancer is human papillomavirus infection. HPV is a common sexually transmitted virus, and certain strains, particularly HPV-16 and HPV-18, are known to cause changes in the cells of the vagina that can lead to cancer over time. Women who have had an HPV infection, especially those who have not received the HPV vaccine, are at a higher risk. Smoking is another significant risk factor, as it weakens the immune system and allows HPV infections to persist, thereby increasing the risk of developing vaginal cancer. Previous history of cervical cancer also raises the risk, as the two cancers share many similar risk factors, such as HPV infection. Age is another important risk factor, with the majority of vaginal cancers diagnosed in women over 60. However, a specific type of vaginal cancer called clear cell adenocarcinoma can occur in younger women and has been linked to exposure to diethylstilbestrol in utero. Diethylstilbestrol was a drug given to pregnant women between 1940 and 1971 to prevent miscarriage, and it was later found to increase cancer risk in daughters exposed before birth. Finally, women who have had a hysterectomy for non-cancerous conditions may also be at a slightly increased risk, possibly due to changes in vaginal support and blood supply. Symptoms of Vaginal Cancer the symptoms of vaginal cancer can be subtle in the early stages, which is one reason why regular gynecological checkups are important. As the cancer progresses, women may experience abnormal vaginal bleeding, especially after sexual intercourse or after menopause. This bleeding may be light or heavy and can occur between periods in premenopausal women. Other symptoms can include pain during sexual intercourse, a noticeable mass or lump in the vagina, pain in the pelvic area, and difficulty with urination. Some women may experience unusual vaginal discharge that may be watery, bloody, or foul-smelling. It's important to note here that these symptoms can also be caused by many other conditions, most of which are far less serious than cancer. However, any persistent or unusual changes should be evaluated by a doctor. Diagnosis of Vaginal Cancer 
Diagnosing vaginal cancer typically begins with a pelvic exam, during which the doctor carefully examines the vagina and surrounding structures for any abnormalities. If anything suspicious is found during the pelvic exam, or if symptoms suggest the possibility of vaginal cancer, further tests will be ordered. A colposcopy may be performed, which involves using a special magnifying instrument to closely examine the vagina and cervix. During this procedure, the doctor may take a biopsy, or a small sample of tissue, from any areas that look abnormal. Imaging tests such as CT scans, MRI, or PET scans may be used to get a more detailed look at the pelvic area and to check if the cancer has spread beyond the vagina. These tests can help determine the stage of the cancer, which is crucial for planning treatment. In some cases, a procedure called a vaginoscopy might be performed. This involves inserting a thin, lighted tube into the vagina to examine the vaginal walls more closely. This can be particularly useful for detecting small or early-stage tumors. Once diagnosed, vaginal cancer is staged to determine the extent of its spread. In stage 1, the cancer is confined to the vaginal wall. Stage 2 indicates the cancer has spread to the tissue surrounding the vagina, but not to the pelvic wall. Stage 3 means the cancer has spread to the pelvic wall and or nearby lymph nodes. Stage 4 is the most advanced stage, where the cancer has spread to nearby organs like the bladder or rectum, stage 4A, or to distant parts of the body, stage 4B. The stage of cancer at diagnosis significantly influences treatment options and prognosis, with earlier stages generally having better outcomes and more treatment options available. Treatment for Vaginal Cancer Treatment for vaginal cancer depends on several factors, including the type and stage of cancer, the woman's overall health, and whether the cancer has spread. Surgery is often the primary treatment for early-stage vaginal cancer. The goal is to remove the tumor and any affected surrounding tissues. In more advanced cases, more extensive surgery may be necessary, which could include removing part or all of the vagina and potentially the uterus, ovaries, and nearby lymph nodes. However, reconstructive surgery can often restore some function and appearance afterward. Another treatment used is radiation therapy, which uses high-energy beams to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors. It's often used in combination with surgery or as a standalone treatment for women who cannot undergo surgery. It can be delivered externally or internally, where radioactive material is placed directly in or near the tumor. For cancers that have spread or are inoperable, chemotherapy is another treatment option. This treatment uses drugs to kill cancer cells throughout the body and is often used in combination with radiation for more aggressive cancers. Chemotherapy can cause side effects, such as fatigue, nausea, and hair loss, but it's often effective at controlling the spread of cancer. In some cases, especially for women with HPV-related vaginal cancer, immunotherapy may be considered. These drugs work by helping the body's immune system recognize and attack cancer cells more effectively. At the end, while vaginal cancer is rare, early detection and treatment significantly improve the chances of successful treatment. Now, we want to hear from you. Have you or someone you know experienced symptoms similar to those associated with vaginal cancer? What was your experience like? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.